In his annual address, the mayor tried to strike a balance between being hopeful and also a harsh reality that we're not just in a health crisis, but an economic one as well. We are grieving our dead. But we are not broken, nor will we ever be. So the real question, the real test, is how we will come back. Mayor Eric Garcetti's State of the City address takes on new urgency. The COVID-19 crisis is already tearing through the city's emergency reserves, and unemployment is higher than in the Great Recession. That's why he's calling on federal leaders to pass a bailout for city governments. All of us remember the 2008 recession. Until now, it was the biggest economic blow of our lifetime, and it hurt. But there's no way to sugarcoat this. This is bigger, and it will hurt more. That means, the mayor says, there will be cuts to programs and staff, including 26 furlough days for all city civilian employees, starting in July, the new fiscal year. Still, he says, the Safer at Home order was the right call. Now, I believe the choice set up early between saving lives and saving our economy was a false one. The only way to save our economy is by saving lives. And the only way we can save lives is by clearing a path to safely reopen our economy. So how do we get there? Garcetti gave no timeline, but says the city is already working on plans to reopen Los Angeles. But to avoid another outbreak, he says the city needs to shore up the following first. Antibody and coronavirus testing, tracking and tracing people who may have been exposed, building and maintaining hospital capacity, research and development for treatment and a vaccine. Our city is hurting. How could it not be? But our city is ready. And like any good Hollywood story, he's promising a comeback. The mayor says passenger travel at LAX is down 95 percent, and you add into that all of the empty hotel rooms, and it starts to paint the economic picture. He will unveil his new budget this week. In West LA, Chrissy Fajardo, KCAL 9 News.